Welcome to this week's Piggyback Blog webinar. Uh, this week we're going to be covering the plugin called Jetpack. Jetpack is an awesome plugin that allows for you to connect your self hosted or multi site website that's um, kind of on its own, on your own hosting and everything like that, with all the great features that are available inside of WordPress.com, which is functions just like what your install of WordPress looks like, but it's part of their infrastructure, a little bit more buttoned down, um, and it's kind of like a social network. So they have a lot of cool stuff over there that this plugin makes available for us. So as with every webinar, I'm Tracy. I'm the success coordinator here at Brandco. I am fully invested in making sure that your business succeeds um, through the through your websites and the act of blogging and the things that you can do to better your website and get it out there for the general public to get. Um, and I want to apologize ahead of time in case I do ramble. Um, I'm not meaning to today. <laughs> um, we're just going to kind of go directly into the piggyback blog and discuss this uh, plugin in full. So if you have questions, um, hold them till the end, and I'll be more than happy to answer them so that everybody else can learn and grow from the questions that you have and the answers that I've got for you. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and dive into my piggyback blog. And here we go. So this should be familiar to everyone, especially the four people that I see currently in this webinar. Um, I know that all of you are avid bloggers or um, at least log into your piggyback blog every now and then. So this is your dashboard. If you do not know how to get to this location, your best bet is to go to piggybackblogs.com and to click that button at the top that says log in. So because we're talking about a plugin today, the plugin is going to need to be activated. Um, as with all plugins inside of your piggyback blog, they are already installed and in place and ready for you to decide to use them or not. So if you click on plugins and scroll down, you'll see that they're all in alphabetical order. And all you have to do is activate the one that says Jetpack on it. Okay, so now that's activated and we're greeted with this bright green you know, banner that's telling us, hey, you gotta do something next. Your Jetpack is almost ready, so we need to connect it to WordPress.com. Now this is where a lot of piggyback blog users get a little tripped up. Um, they think that their piggyback blog logins are the same as their WordPress.com logins, and that's not the case. Um, if you've ever used WordPress.com, then you can utilize the logins that you have here. If you've never used it, then there's always going to be an option to click and do, um, you know, need an account, question mark, and then you'll be able to do that. So if I do deny on my current WordPress.com login, Let's try to connect to get started. I don't want, let's switch account, there we go. Um, see it says need an account, question mark. If you have a WordPress.com login, you would just add it here, username and password. If not, you click need an account. It's gonna open another page, allow you to create one. Clicking a create an account will send an email to your email address that you provide here and you'll have to confirm that you are who you are and that you're not just signing up other people's email addresses. And um, then you'll have the opportunity to click a button that says uh, approve. So let me just go ahead and log back into mine and hopefully I remember my logins this time. And I didn't. And once again, I forgot my password. Um, see, I'm not. Y'all aren't the only people that forget your passwords here and there. <laughs> um, My goodness, all right, I'm gonna do forgot password because I apparently did. And I can't spell for anything today. All right, so I'll get an email and it'll tell me what my, my 
it'll allow me to reset my password. So if you see if it if it tells you that you've already got a password um, for that email address, then just you know do the forgot password thing. So let me log into my email on another screen. We all have to go through the whole setting up passwords thing on a regular basis. So <laughs> don't feel bad if you don't remember your logins or anything like that. It's, it's not the end of the world. Feels like it though for this webinar. Let's just sign up a new account. I want to apologize for not knowing my passwords for some reason today. Yay, there we go, okay. So this will allow us to connect our WordPress now. Once you have your username and password, then you are presented with the screen here. And I apologize for the radio silence in between trying to figure out what that password was. So if I've lost you because you are tired of watching me do that, I'm back. <laughs> um, okay, so a lot of people get confused by this button that is presented below here. It says activate now. Now, the section that it's saying to activate is called an activate the site management area that you're able to use inside of WordPress.com really not something that you really need to worry about because piggyback blog can t takes care of all of your um, p your plugin updates and theme updates and all that kind of stuff all that's kind of maintained through our multi structure um, so don't really concern yourself with this too much if you scroll down you'll see that there's um, three here that are the team favorites WordPress.com stats is automatically activated whenever you connect your WordPress.com account with Jetpack to the, your website inside of Piggyback Blog. And what it does is it kind of does what we were talking about like two, three weeks ago, about, no, it's just last week, about site traffic and being able to check to see how things are going with your website and whether or not it's being visited and who's visiting what pages and things like that. WordPress.com stats is kind of that thing I was talking about. So if you wanted to see what that was doing, you can go to your dashboard. And while there's nothing there now because there is no data recorded yet because we just activated it, give it a day or so and you'll see information start rolling in through this location. Um, and if you want more of an overview of the, everything that's available through those site stats, um, you can watch last week's webinar and get the full download on that. So back in the Jetpack area. You can click on Jetpack underneath Dashboard anytime you want to activate or deactivate anything within this plugin. So here are nine specific ones that are available, but if you click on View All, it'll show you the rest. Now there are a couple of um, specific features in here that I like to instruct people to activate and utilize. Um, one of the main ones is for photo galleries. Um, Photo galleries by standard inside of your post and page structure are kind of dull. Um, they usually just display at a thumbnail version and they have a certain number of columns that you're able to set. However, um, tiled galleries inside of here will allow for the photos to kind of tile and fill up a space. And you all you have to do is click configure to activate it. And these are your options. You can just click Save. 
display all your gallery photos in a cool mosaic. There it is. If we go back to that same area, there's one more, and it's called um, Carousel or Slideshow. Let's find it. I believe it's Carousel. Transform standard image galleries into full screen slideshows. That's another big one. Um, great for if you're making um, featured property pages or featured property posts and you want to like have everything there, but it's like, oh my God, there's so many photos. You can just make a slideshow. And you can see that all this is already going inside here. So if you have a white background website, you could just change this to white or to black. Those are the only two options for that gallery carousel though. They're calling it, they're using carousel and slider and slideshow in, you know, unison here. So it's all kind of the same thing. Okay. So let's show one of those photo galleries in action. So if we're going to post and add new, we go in here and click add media and click create gallery. So if we're going to grab all these home pictures and we want to create a gallery out of it, you can see I have five selected. You click create a new gallery. You can add in your captions here and then you can click the type of type that you want the gallery to show as. So originally all you would see is thumbnail grid, but now you'll have tiles, galleries, square tiles, circles, and slideshows available. So if we do a tiled mosaic and insert that one, we can actually see all of them at once. Let's do that. Tiled mosaic, and then we'll do another one after, and we'll call it um, square tiles, and then below that one we'll call it circle gallery, and then we'll do one called slideshow and we'll pop all these in so we can see all of them in action. Create gallery, miss, a, miss that step. Create a new gallery and we're gonna say this one's square tiles and insert it. Another gallery with five. Create a new gallery and we're gonna do this with circles. Insert the gallery. And then the last one's going to be the slideshow. Okay. Boop, 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 create the gallery. Boop, 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 create. And then we're gonna make it a slideshow. And just, you know what, we should do a standard one just so we can see the difference. Add media, create gallery, one, two, three, four, five. Create a new gallery. Thumbnail grid. Yep, it doesn't even allow us to to pick what how many um, columns it would show up in. So insert the gallery. So let's go ahead and click preview and take a look at our different gallery options now that we have Jack's tiled mosaic and slideshow available. All right, so the tiled mosaic allows for the photos to kind of fit into the square on their own. So it's looking to see if a photo is landscape or if it's profile in shape and trying to fit it in the best way possible, making a mosaic out of it. The standard gallery, this is what I was saying, is kind of bland. It shows the photos in thumbnail version, so it's not showing the full photo. Um, it's clipping the photo and it's only putting it in a column of three in a row. Um, square tiles kind of does the same thing that the tiled mosaic does. However, it tries to keep all the photos in a square form rather than allowing them to be um, full width. Um, then you have the option of the circle gallery, which does very much like the um, square does, but it clips a little bit more of the image off and makes them into circles. And then the slideshow, displays like this. So you can go through it, you can pause it, you can play it, and it'll play through the, the photos on its own. See, it changed on its own. Um, so those are your options when it comes to photo galleries. My favorite is still the tiled mosaic so that the photos don't get clipped like it does on some of the others, like here. 
um, it allows the more of the photo to be seen and it kind of looks a little bit more interesting but that's personal preference it's all about what you're trying to make your site look like so let me just save this uh, photo gallery examples publish so that's available for us to use in future webinars so let's go back into jetpack and see what else we have to play with in there all right view all um, the second, well, the most important, I would say, it probably would come before those tiled galleries, but the galleries thing has been coming up a lot lately. Um, it would be something called publicize. So I'm having a hard time finding it. Let's go ahead and put it in alphabetic order and find publicize. There it is. Publicize allows for you to display your um, blog posts directly onto social media networks without you having to copy the URL and put it there yourself. Now, first thing, it doesn't go in and do this on previous posts, you know, posts that have been published prior to you activating Publicize inside of your Jetpack, you know, plugin. Um, so it's not going to be retroactive. It's only going to start doing this to the posts that you've decided to, um, that you've decided to publish and it will not work also on pages. But you know, posts are what you're going to be updating on a regular basis and adding to most often. So this is where you're going to want this to happen. All right, so when you go to configure this area, it takes you to here. And your options are Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Path, and Google+. I believe someone asked me the last time we discussed this in a webinar what Path was. And honestly, I'm not 100% sure. I've never used it myself. And Tumblr is something else I don't utilize. I know that it's a great social media network if you're trying to share like funny photos and stuff like that. But I try to stick over on this side and with Google+. So if you're wanting to connect Facebook or Twitter or LinkedIn or Google+, to this, it's really easy to do. Um, let me disconnect my Facebook real quick. All right, so if I'm gonna connect with my Facebook, I would click connect. And I've gotten a lot of um, messages in the past about uh, people being worried that they're connecting this with their um, personal pages and things like that. It's gonna give you a bunch of like, oh, are you sure of this? I guess because I've already done it so many times, it's pushed past that. Um, but you can only select one option. You can't select all of them. Um, and you can't select your personal and your business. So my direct and personal recommendation would be to connect your um, your business page. I go ahead and make it available to all users in case you have someone else sign in and, or you want someone else managing your site. Um, when my posts come out to my business pages, I then share them with my personal pages, um, my personal profile. That way, there's more of an opportunity that the people that I'm friends with are can become my fans uh, or my likes on my business pages. Um, that's like a, a secondary marketing kind of tactic that I use. So, um, and the same thing works with Twitter or LinkedIn. If you're already logged into them in your in your browser, then that's the one it's going to try to connect with automatically. So this little guy is really, really useful. Um, under posts, if you are making a new post, you'll see that it's up and ready to go over here to the size where it says publish. It says publicize Facebook and it's going to go to the Tracy R. Adams page. So if I click on edit details, it allows me to change the message that gets displayed on there. And I've heard people complain because if you do not change this out, what it'll do is it'll pull like the first first long while of the actual blog post and post that as the as the comment when sharing the link. So that can be a little bit, you know, unsightly sometimes. So um, you can edit the custom message that gets displayed here. All right, so those are two very, very big options within the Jetpack plugin that I definitely recommend, aside from the WordPress.com stats that's going to be there no matter what. 
um, it just automatically activates so it's not something you have to think about. Now there are a lot of things inside here that you can utilize, but you know, there's always times when you don't want to um, you know, activate and utilize way too many things. Um, I'll go ahead and answer that question, Lisa. Lisa asked, um, would, what would an example of a custom message be? So like, let's say I wrote a blog post about um, a festival that's coming up in um, Oviedo. And instead of it pulling the first like paragraph that I had written and putting it as the post on Facebook, it, I could then say, I'm really looking forward to this event that's coming up in Oviedo. I hope to see you there. That could be your custom message that gets displayed on Facebook rather than the first bit of your actual post. All right, awesome. Okay, so there are contact forms in here. There are subscription forms. There's comments. All this kind of stuff's here. Um, there are some things that will not work quite properly in here because we just never really felt like it would be necessary inside of piggyback blogs. So the contact form, I would say don't bother activating it. You have Gravity Forms, which is a much more superior um, form creator, and we've been over Gravity Forms, I believe, last month. So if you want more information on that, we have uh, the webinar recorded, and I suggest you know watching it because Gravity Forms is a very robust plugin as well, just like Jetpack is. Um, you don't need the mobile theme because if you're on here, you're most likely to be responsive already. And the mobile theme kind of dumbs everything down when your site, if it's responsive and mobile friendly already, looks good on a cell phone anyways. Um, the monitor is kind of nice. However, piggyback blogs, we manage everything for you. Uh, so you wouldn't have to utilize that. Um, widget visibility is something that I feel like has been coming up a lot more often lately because people are wanting to utilize their sidebar in different ways on blog pages or posts and things like that. Widget visibility allows you to decide whether or not a page sees a certain widget in your sidebar. So I believe it's already activated. Yes, it is. So if we go to appearance widgets, this is where you go to manage your entire sidebar area. So let me just get rid of some of these because there's a lot in here. And you want things to be kind of quick and succinct whenever it comes to displaying on sidebars. Like this is a great place to put um, calls to action, things like that over there that you want people to pay attention to. So let's say that I only want my WolfNet quick search to show up on pages within or on the on a certain page. So we're going to show it if the page is about the team. Okay? So it will show up only on that page. Save. Okay. So if we look at the website, you do not see over here the um, quick search. But if we go to the pages area and go view about the team, you'll see the quick search at the top. So it's a quick, easy way um, to, you know, have control over what shows and what doesn't show on which page. Now, you can get some serious, like, if, if statement here, if you want to, but, you know, if it's not something that's that important to you, if you just want, like, a certain menu to show on, um, on a on a community page, this is the way to do it. We'll be going over sidebar widgets in detail next week. Okay, so I'm not gonna, I'm only just going to kind of touch on it right now, and that's just because it's an availability through Jetpack. So back to it. There's one more that I feel like we utilize quite often. Oh, yeah, subscriptions. People have asked, how do people know? if I've posted something new or anything like that. And the way to do that would be through a subscription. So this subscription allows for people to get an like, email once you click publish on a blog post. So subscriptions 
have to be signed up for, and it's a widget that is becomes available because we activated it inside of here. And if we go under appearance widgets again, you can see us put it in place. So it's blog subscriptions, and you can tell that it's that one for sure because it says Jetpack on the end of it. So if you click on it and add it, you have some options that you can click on and change. So it says this the title, so it fills all this in for you by default, but you can change it out if you don't want it to say subscribe to blog via email. If that's not the way you talk, then change it. I, I hardly ever use the word via. So um, get updates or something like that. And then you know enter your email address to subscribe to this blog and receive notifications of new email, new posts by email. And then you know email and then the subscribe button says subscribe. Or we could just say submit anything you want. And you can decide whether or not it shows the number of subscribers that you've had or not. If you've got zero, you may want to hide it. So then you click save. And then that allows for it to show on our homepage or on our sidebar. So once this loads, you'll see the subscribe area here. See? Get updates. You can sign up here. So that's quick and easy. And that's the majority of the things that I really wanted to go over inside of the Jetpack plugin. Um, there are, there's always more to the things that I say on these webinars because there's all these things are extremely robust. And you know, if you want to know everything about everything, you're going to get overwhelmed. Like I still don't, I don't even know everything it, that, that this plugin does, and I'm a huge cheerleader for it. So um, if you have any additional questions, feel free to reach out and let me know and let me have the opportunity to research it and look into it for you um, so that we all learn and grow from it. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and open the floor for any additional questions. I know I answered one or two during the webinar, but if you have any questions, I want to answer them. Someone else in the webinar may have the exact same question, just not sure that they know how to answer it or how to ask it yet. So um, there's a lot of things in here. Uh, extra sidebar widgets, I believe, becomes fully um, activated right off the bat. And um, that allows you to add images and things like that into your sidebars. So we'll also go into sidebars and controlling that whole sidebar area through the widget section in appearance um, next week. So if you have questions about that area, Let's hold them till next week so we can go into it completely. Okay, it looks like we don't have any additional questions and that's awesome. I hope that that means that everybody kind of understood what I talked about today and that, um, you know, if you have any questions, you can come to me. As always, I'm reachable at my email address, tracy at brandco.com or by phone at 407. 999-0009, extension 115. I work mostly off of appointments and would love some one-on-one -on -one time with you if you have questions or you want to learn more. Um, and you can schedule an appointment around your, your schedule at calendly.com slash bco underscore Tracy. And as always, happy blogging and thank you for attending. I'll see you again next week. Have a great day.